Hi, I'm Martin Pring. They say that a picture is worth a thousand words, but I say that a chart is worth a thousand pictures. And that's because charts in the financial markets often scream out very important messages that an important or significant trend reversal has taken place or is about to take place. Each month I publish a newsletter called the Intermarket Review, and each issue contains what I call the chart of the month, and that features a market that I think has just turned or is about to turn. So this series of videos aims at presenting these charts of the month. So if you're interested in them, please hit the subscribe button and you'll be brought up to speed on a regular basis. So without more ado, let's go to the chart room and see what's in store for this month. This month we'll be looking at commodities or more specifically at the oil price. This chart demonstrates the possibility of a significant extension to the commodity bull market. The top panel features industrial commodity prices and the lower one my global economic momentum indicator. In the 1974-75 period when the indicator fell below the equilibrium level at 1.0, commodity prices fell sharply because it indicated that the global economy had weakened sufficiently for prices to fall. What's really interesting is that this happens in pretty well every cycle. So I'm going to shade in when the indicator is in negative territory. You can see that prices consistently fall. The next thing is to uncover the most recent data. At present, or I should say in January, which is when the latest data is available, the indicator is in a rising phase well above the equilibrium level. Even if it reverses immediately, several months will probably transpire before a negative signal is triggered. That suggests to me that commodity prices have lots of upside potential from here. Now for the implications for oil. Recently the oil price broke out from a major trading range and this was supported by these two momentum indicators. Fortunately for technicians, price patterns come with price objectives which are measured by calculating the maximum depth of the pattern and projecting this measurement in the direction of the breakout. So this arrow measures that depth and this one the objective. And that objective will give us a target of $225. This is called the minimum ultimate upside objective by technicians. Minimum because prices often move by multiples of the objective ultimate because it does not necessarily happen in the same move. Now I'm not forecasting $225 oil, merely pointing out that this is a normal attainable type of technical objective, especially as the global economy is suggesting that significant upside potential for commodities still exists. If you've enjoyed this presentation, you might want to go to pring.com if you're not there already and download a sample copy of our Intermarket Review, a monthly roundup of the world's principal financial markets with a special emphasis on the US. We also look at global indicators, bonds, precious metals, currencies and international markets using ETFs to execute our strategies as much as possible. You'll find unique indicators and intermarket relationships you cannot find anywhere else. In the meantime, thanks for watching and good luck and good charting.